Hey everyone, I'm Noah and welcome to Blackthorn Prod. In this quick Unity tutorial, I'll show you how to make hyperlinks. By the end of the video, you'll know how to populate your game with buttons that once clicked on will send the player to some place on internet, be that your YouTube channel, SoundCloud, personal website or social media pages. This is super useful and it also happens to be very easy to put into place. So I have an empty Unity scene opened up and I would like to add a button to it that once clicked on will bring me to my YouTube channel. So I'll create a new UI image and I'll call it YouTube button. I'll then drag and drop this simple YouTube button graphic inside of that empty slot. I'll now add a button component to it. It. What we now want to do is call a function as soon as we click on this button that will open up a certain page in our browser, in my case my YouTube channel. So I'll create a new c -sharp script called open link, drag and drop it onto my button and open up. Here all I need to do is create a new public function called open channel and inside it I'll type application.openurl and in the parentheses I'll type out two quotation marks, head over to my YouTube channel, copy the URL off that page and paste it in between those two quotation marks. Note that for those using mono develop like me, if you're unable to paste in your URL, simply close mono develop, open it up again and you should be able to paste that in with ease. Now heading back into Unity, you can add an on click event to your button, drag and drop the open link script into that empty slot and call the open channel function as soon as you click on the button. Now this method will sadly only work for Windows, Mac and Linux builds. As you can see if I build and run my game for Windows by clicking on the link I'm brought straight away to my channel. You can also test your links directly inside of Unity. So really simple and awesome. However if you're making an HTML5 game, in other words something directly playable in the browser, you'll have to do something a little more complex but still very easy to implement. The reason being, if you use this open URL function for a browser game, then clicking on the link will actually open up, in my case, my YouTube channel inside of the same page in which my game is currently playing in. So in short, my game will shut down, replaced by whatever page I linked to. There's also the risk that your browser blocks the game from opening up using this method or the application.external eval method. And so having spent some time searching internet for a a solution to this problem, I came across this blog post describing how to fix these issues. In the description you'll find a link that will get you downloading a couple scripts we will use to get this button working in browsers. Once the download complete and your scripts inside of your Unity project, select your button, remove the open link script as well as the onclick event on your button component and add instead the press handler script just recently downloaded. Also add the link script and open that up. You'll see a couple lines of alien looking code which you can completely ignore. All that really interests us is this line of code right here. So remove the field text, type out two quotation marks and again paste in whatever link you like between those two quotation marks. You can of course rename this function to something a little more descriptive, for example in my case open YouTube channel. If you want to make several buttons with different links, simply copy and paste this function, change its name, for example open Twitter, and of course change the URL. Now I can add an on press event to my press handler script, drag and drop my link script inside of this empty slot, and then search for my open YouTube channel function. And now when I press on this button, I should be sent to my channel. Sadly, this will not work directly inside of Unity. So to test this all out, I have to actually build my HTML5 Unity game. And once that's done and my game has been loaded up inside of my browser, which in my case is Google Chrome, and I hit this YouTube button, I'll be sent to my channel in a new browser page. And it's as easy as that. Now if you get some troublesome bug, make sure inside of Unity that you did indeed download this open window file, which even though we don't actually use on any of our objects, is needed to get things working nicely. And that marks the end of this small, yet I hope helpful Unity tutorial. In the next video we'll be taking a look at how to make cool trill effects in Unity. So stay tuned 
tuned and until then consider supporting me and my channel via Patreon. These are the awesome people that already have and help me out releasing consistent game dev content. Hitting the like and subscribe buttons would also be so appreciated. Alright with that said have a great day, stay tuned, cheers!